In this video, we will show you how to connect to a MySQL database. The HIPAA Claim Master can connect to virtually any database that is ODBC compliant. In this tutorial, we assume that a MySQL server is installed either on your computer or network. If not, we recommend doing that first. As MySQL is a free database and is widely used, we will show you the steps to connect it. First, we are going to see if the MySQL server is installed. We go to Control Panel, type in ODBC, and here we can see Set Up ODBC Data Sources. We then click on System DSN. So the connection that we create will be available to any user, not only the one who is logged in. We click on Add, and we do not see a MySQL ODBC driver installed. So we click Cancel. We then Googled Download MySQL ODBC driver and came to this page which has the available versions to download the ODBC connector. In our case, we will choose the 64-bit MSI installer option to download. You will see when the download is complete here and when we click to open it, we will see this pop-up. Here we click Run, then Next, and Accept the License Agreement. Then we choose the typical installation, then Install. When the wizard is complete, we click Finish. MySQL Data Connector ODBC 5.2 is now installed. We can close the web browser and go back to the DSN administrator. We create a system data source instead of a user data source, which is usually only available to the current logged in user. A system DSN is available to anyone logging into the computer. We click on Add, and now we see MySQL ODBC drivers are available. We see an ANSI and a Unicode driver. It is important that we choose the Unicode driver. We then click Finish. Now we need to configure this connection. Let's call it HIPAA Suite MySQL. The TCP IP server, in our case, is Linux. You can enter your name in the user field and choose a password. We test the connection and it is successful. We can choose the database and in this case we choose Test. Then click OK. Now we can see the data source name or DSN. HIPAA Suite MySQL created. Then we click OK and close the control panel. Now that the ODBC connection is defined, we can go back and open the HIPAA Claim Master. We go to Database, click on Connection and Fields. Under Database Type, we choose ODBC Connection as the connection type. The data source name is HIPAA Suite MySQL.
database, username, and password are already defined in the ODBC connection, so we don't have to add them here. We save the connection information and click on Test Connection. We then see an error pop up. We have success establishing a connection, but the tables don't exist as we haven't created them. We click OK to close the error message, and click here to create the tables. We see this window, which shows us the Create Tables scripts to create our tables. We already have selected here MySQL Generic, so all we need to do now is execute script by clicking here. The table has now been created. We perform the same process for the detail script, and that table is also now created. We close this window, and now we test the connection again. We see now that we have a successful connection, and our tables are verified. Now we need to choose how many fields that we want to export. We can select all or select the subset of fields that we need. In this case, we select all and the same on the detail level. Now we can test the configuration and the setup checks OK, meaning that all of our fields exist in the database and are verified. At this point, we can now click here to Save Field Configuration. Now we can close this window, go to File, Open Sample File. We choose this file, click on Open, Data Import, then we click Run. We can then see the process results and see that we just imported 48 claims into the database. We close out of this, then go to the database, Claims in Database, and then we can go through the claims in the database by clicking the arrows. We can also see the claim by clicking View Claim. as well as turn them back into EDI files. This concludes this video tutorial of how to connect HIPAA Claim Master to MySQL Database.